I've used Midjourney a lot since starting to create with AI, and it's fantastic. There are even some new tools that I should probably talk about. But with all the new AI advancements, I went looking for a better, cheaper, and faster AI image creator. And holy cow, I ran into Recraft 3, codename Red Panda. This video is a tutorial on how to use the newest version of Recraft AI. Along the way, I'll show you how to create amazing images and why Recraft is currently ranked as the best AI image generator out there. It's beating the likes of Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. Use my invitation code to earn credits when you sign up. Let's start by going to the Recraft website and creating an account. You'll need to answer a few questions. Now you're going to want more, but for right now, just click on the free plan. You get 50 free credits daily to play with. Now the first thing you're going to see is a workspace. Move it around. Recraft isn't just an AI image generator, it's actually a design space. The designers behind Recraft have loaded up your first workspace with some helpful content, and we're going to start there. Everything's live, so let's check it out. Let's start by generating an AI image. They already have one here for you, but click on it and you'll see that the prompt comes up in the left-hand column. Now let's change it to something else in the prompt box. Now click Recraft, and you have a different image instead. The free plan gives you up to two images to choose from. You'll get more on a pro subscription. Now let's do another one. Now just change one word in the prompt, or the whole prompt, and regenerate. But generating the image is only part of what you can do. Let's recolor the image. Click on the palette icon. Choose a new color to add, or you can even use the RGB or hex codes if you want an exact color. Or you can roll the dice for a new color palette. Click the Recraft button again and you'll have a whole new color scheme. You can also easily adjust the colors using the slider and add some visual punch with saturation and contrast. While we're over here looking at the tools, let's look at the models and the artistic styles that you have to work with. Recraft version 3 is an upgrade to Recraft 20B. During testing, Recraft 3 was codenamed Red Panda. You have nearly a hundred different artistic styles to choose from. This original image was created as an illustration, but let's try something else. Want to compare styles? Let's copy the original and paste it onto our workspace. You can use the hotkeys, Ctrl or Command C, or right click on the image and copy it. Then paste it into the space. I really like that you can see all the images for your project in one place. If you want more room, just slide the workspace left, right, or up and down. Now we're going to click on the image and change the style. If you want to download the image, click on the image and go to the export button at the top of the page. You can choose PNG or JPEG file. Or you can right click on the image and choose export as. And while we're talking about downloads, you might want to upscale your image first. This will make some of the detail sharper. Click on the image and now click the Clarity Upscale button. It makes your file larger and it cleans up the detail. Paid plans also have a more powerful upscale option, Creative Upscale.
Recraft also makes it easy to change the features of your image. And let's try this out. I'm going to copy the image again. And then circle the area I want to change. Add what you want to change into the prompt. You can also easily remove unwanted elements. No prompt necessary. With one click, you can remove the background. or even change the background. Start by selecting the Change Background tool. Recraft detects the background first, and then you prompt for what you want the background to look like. Now with one click, you can also vectorize your image. When you do this and go to Export the Image, you have a few new file format options. Think you have the hang of things? Well, we're not done yet. Recraft gives you a lot of different styles to choose from, but you can create your own. Let's make a new image. To do that, click on Image in the left-hand column. You're going to get a green square. Resize the image box by pulling on the corners. Now type your prompt into the prompt box. One thing that amazes me about Recraft is its text ability. So let's use a prompt that asks for text. But before we generate, we're going to add five images that I created in Midjourney, and we're gonna use these images to create a new style. Click on the Style button to open the styles, and click Create Style. Now upload your images, and now you can test your style with a prompt of your choice. When you're happy, you can add it to your styles. Now your style says, My Custom Style. Now click the Recraft button to create your image. And look at those words. I've never had Recraft come out with wonky letters or misspelled words. The designers behind Recraft have really figured out AI text generation. The default aspect ratio is a square, but it's easy to change the aspect ratio or frame shape. Simply move the slider left for wide images and right for tall ones. I should have made my movie poster tall, but I can easily change this. Click on the image and go to Variate, and select a different aspect ratio. You can use the slider, or click on one of the options. Now click Generate Variations. And now I have a tall movie poster. But my poster is a bit boring, so let's fine tune the results. Let's copy the poster. and I'm gonna change the prompt a little bit to an action movie. But I can also use the fine tune slider to vary it just a little bit or a lot. You can choose to make the image almost identical to the original or just a little bit similar. We've covered a lot of ground in this video, but I wanna show you one more thing. You can work with your own personal images in Recraft AI too, and you can change them. Let's open a new workspace. Go to the home page and click Create Project. On the free plan, you can upload up to three images per day. Now let's copy the original image and change the details. Let's start with some simple color changes. Of 
course, you can easily crop the image. But you can also change the aspect ratio of your image. Click on the image and select Variate. Now choose a different aspect ratio. Then click the Generate Variations button. Notice how it keeps many of the features of the original image, even though it's changed the frame shape. Now let's copy this image again and change the image using Generative AI. Click on the image and type a new prompt. This still has the essence of the original photograph, but now I've changed the details. Of course, you can also easily remove or change the background of your original image. And you can quickly convert your image to a mock-up or a vectorized graphic. And right now you can Christmasize it. We've covered a lot of ground in this video and you're well on your way to mastering Recraft AI 3, create AI images, and use the design studio. But there really is so much more. You can create your own workspaces, create frames and mockups, and you can collaborate on designs. You don't have an image catalog with Recraft, but it is easy to copy and paste images or designs from one workspace to another. Remember, on the free plan, you currently get 50 daily credits, and even with the slower image generation, you'll get your images lightning fast. With an upgrade, you get more credits, the ability to make your images private, you'll get unlimited uploads, and faster AI image generation. Your images come with a commercial license and you'll have that creative upscale feature that I talked about. Recraft 3 is an AI image generator, but it's also first and foremost, a design tool. I like that there are no codes or special vocabulary that you need to know to use it. It's all very tactile. So try out Recraft and give us your reviews in the comments below. If this video was helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's make something amazing together.